New research may lead to the diagnosis of autism before symptoms occur. Researchers from the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill looked at the brain scans of infants at high risk of developing the disorder at 6, 12, and 24 months. They were able to predict which ones were going to develop autism with 80 percent accuracy. We see an increased rate of growth of uh, sort of the outer surface of the brain, the folds, the sort of waviness of the surface. That's followed by an overgrowth of the brain in the second year. The overgrowth of the brain coincided with the behaviors typical of autism that start to emerge in the second year. Researchers say by identifying the brain changes early, there's the possibility of developing therapies and even drugs before the brain fully forms. It's at a time we're talking about in the first year of life when the brain is most malleable. Infants at high risk of developing autism are babies who have an older sibling with the disorder, but the research may eventually be useful to the general population. Approximately one out of every 68 children in the United States has autism. Meg Oliver, CBS News, New York.